Okay. Meet the gorgeous Sabrina Yusuf on Instagram. Do check her videos. Mashallah, they are so alive. And she sells uh, cream, beauty creams. Uh, tell us about your brand. I sell beauty products for all skin types. Yeah. Mambo mazuri mazuri, mm -hmm. scrubs, uh, creams za kungarisha. So our brides, for our future brides, do check her page out. She's on Instagram and uh, TikTok. TikTok. Yes. Sabrina Yusuf. I'll link her page uh, on my description box. So stay tuned. We are creating a bridal look for you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty videos. If you haven't subscribed, please do keep your notification bell on so you get notified each time I upload my videos. Kindly like, comment and share my work. First things first, we usually start by cleansing our skin and I'm using micellar water with cotton wool to make sure her skin is oil free and sweat free. Welcome and enjoy. I'm starting off with Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel to set her eyebrows to make sure they won't move and stay in place. And uh, the fact that it's uh, yani tinted, it will leave uh, yani colors like any haitokua that dark. Like if you want a natural finish of eyebrows, use a tinted uh, eyebrow gel. And to make sure her eyebrows stay in place the whole day, I'm using the Go To Be Super Hold Gel. This can be used on eyebrows. Na pia weza kutumia kama kukreate design za baby hair. Wajua mara nyingi with uh, jotoletu, uh, eyebrows za zaharibika. Utaona like imekuwa messed ama high on needs. So if you are oily ama you do sweat a lot, use an super hold uh, gel for it to last longer. And I'm creating it using the expose, uh, exposable. Yes, the exposable mascara ones. To follow her natural shape. So as we rahisi minta kavo kukreate ile shape mtaifata badai. I used concealer to follow her natural shape. And also to hide any hyperpigmentations kwenye lidi yake. So as I have a black covers to whatever I'm going to apply on top. And as you can see, I've done one eye off camera. You know, some days I don't have idea what I'm, I want to create. So I start off with one eye. I love for the other eye, I do it on camera. For eyeshadow, I'm using Morphe Jacqueline Hill Volume 1. And I mixed uh, the burnt orange shade with the mustard yellow. With a fluffy brush, I'm placing it on her lid, creating a beautiful transition shade. So as to, to see when uh, any harsh line, as you can see, I'm taking it back and forth, creating a soft shade that whatever we are going to pack uh, later, you see we had to blend. Make sure when you're using transition sheds, you pack them as little as you can and uh, build it along the way. Why? Because you get a flawless transition shed that melts together with whatever you're going to pack on top. And as you can see, I'm packing uh, the dark brown using the same brush because they are in a product in it. This will help uh, help my blending game easy. Why? Because the brush tayari na ile transition shade which was warm shades na ile ni dark brown. So it will be easy for them to melt together and uh, diffuse any harshness. And uh, pack it as slowly as you can and uh, build it. Because when you're using a lot of eyeshadow like I said, itakuangumu sana wewe to diffuse it and as you can see i'm taking it back and forth making sure hakuna any harsh lines i zoom the video mupate kuona what i mean as you can see hapo kuna transition shades kuna dark brown there's even darker brown but you can't see where it started where it ended that's what i'm talking about pack as slowly as you can and build it along the way so as you transition and still get that smoky effect without showing any harsh lines and uh, doing this i'm going circular motions back and forth making sure i don't place an eye any the brush mahali pamoja and now i'm creating a soft cut crease using concealer and uh, concealer brush what i'm trying to do is clean my yani inner corner lid space so as the shimmers that I'm going to pack with a clear base, 
but still i'm going to smudge the line i don't want that harsh lines of cut crease because i did not intend to do a cut crease you'll see later inshallah what i'm talking about and i'm trying to tap the concealer so as to lift the wetness ambayo iko kwenye concealer but i'm not setting it i'm setting it with my finger and i'm back again with my revolution palette using the bronze shade to set the center part and the gold again on top of it i'm trying to build something that uh, will be in the middle between a bronzy shade and a dark dark gold and as you can see i'm going back and forth with my matte shadows and my shimmers so as to make sure there's no harsh lines now i'm packing the same dark brown to make sure hapo hakuna any harsh line and then i'll go back to my shimmers it's all about going back and forth making sure hakuna any harsh line that's how you achieve a flawless blended eyeshadow and for her inner corner i'm using a champagne shade that is not too gold and not too silver iko katikati and uh, i love to use uh, a flat uh, fluffy brush because it packs the eyeshadow vizuri without consuming it when you brush it and i'm dragging my brush down to make sure i pack the eyeshadow is a shimmer so as to set the concealer kabisa because if you're going to blend your shimmery shades on concealer either it will move or it will be patchy so what the best method to to set your concealer on cut crease is by dragging it downwards making sure you pack it at the same time you set it and as you can see i said like going back and forth i'm back again to my first brush the fluffy brush and i'm taking again again the dark brown making sure there's no harsh line between all the shades i think now you can see like what i mean by going slowly we have almost five shades and you can't see yani mstari umeanza wapi wale umemalizikia wapi na sasa na mpaka eyeliner using the maybelline gel liner which is one of my best best uh, eyeliner gel that stays black and dries matte if you can't afford the inglot gel liner you can opt for this one which is uh, yani way cheaper and a tip for my queens who cry or break under eye after using wanja this is something that you can try and see how it works with you but uh, i believe a matte gel liner stays input better than wanja so if you're somebody ambaye wa crack under eye kwa sababu ya wanja try using the gel liner either you can opt for inglot na if you can't afford try the maybelline uh, gel liner this is something that i use for clients who tear up a lot or my clients ambao wana tabia ya ku crack under eye i wanted a thick liner for her eye shape because mashallah she has a nice face i didn't want to do a very thin liner to blend with her eye shape na to blend the edges so as ku see na any harsh line i'm using a black eye shadow specific on the outer corner only i'm not taking it up because i didn't want i didn't want to make the eyes too dark I wanted the browns to still stay there there as you can see. So blend it slowly making sure not taking it too high to achieve this look. So this is the part that I told you I'm going to blend the concealer kwenye crease line yake because I didn't want to do a cut crease uh, and to do so I'm using the warm brown to blend back and forth kwenye ile mstari kuipoteza line. I only use the concealer to brighten her lid space for the shimmer shades to pop but i didn't want that sharp cut crease so this is what i'm i was talking about i'm blending back and forth to make sure i don't have that sharp line but still to in a brightness kwenye lid space yake and i switched to a pencil brush to make sure everything is blended yani flawlessly uh, because uh, i didn't want any shades going on lines and to achieve this you can use a smaller brush and i prefer a pencil brush because it's fluffy but to the point that you had to okay blend high spread everything everywhere i love to use my finger to diffuse any harsh lines because when you're using your harsh lines you go specific to the place ambao waona kuna any shadow pengine imetokea zaidi ama like shimmer shades la ukitumia brush yote soak in the brush so i love to use yani i love sometimes to use my fingers because i know where i'm placing it uh, 
There's no rules to how you work. It's how you're comfortable with. Na nimeanza kuhydrate her skin using volition snow mushroom water serum to make sure it a extra hydrate her skin and plump the areas that I needed the most because some areas have dull skin ama za nyonyesha ni ziko dehydrated so when you start your skin care with serum hii ni kama water base that goes and yani goes deep into the skin and hydrates extra and now i'm applying the eye cream the good molecule yeba met wake up gel this is formulated to help revitalize and energize the eye area you know what it does is help to boost the under eye to look awake and uh, hydrated mara nyingi utamwona mtu ana dry under eye ama the eyes look sagged ama ana wrinkles na fine lines so what you do when you apply the makeup they go and sit on the fine lines and uh, yawa cakey so to avoid that try uh, uh, yani adding katika skin care yako ya bridal looks an eye cream Make sure you massage your eye cream to let it sink and uh, work its purpose because if you're not going to massage the eye cream pay to stand your skin. And guys, you don't need to go for high ends. You can opt for cheaper brands that even work yani nicely. And I'm um, adding a lip balm to her lips to make sure her lips are hydrated. So as to kija tukipaka lip uh, lipstick lips zake zisi crack kwa sababu pia one thing if uh, waona lipstick ya client wako ya crack ama uh, you, after hours akwambia lipstick yangu ili move it's because the lips are dehydrated they also need water so water comes from his lip balm and to moisturize i'm using embryolis light cream concentrate i think that's how it, it's pronounced I recently purchased this moisturizer like uh, a month ago and I can't tell you how obsessed I am because it claims to moisturize and prime and it does what it claims. Yani it's on the high end side like it's expensive but truly yani a purchase that is worth. I'm massaging it to make sure it absorbs in the skin uh, because uh, like I said skin care needs time to work so when you're massaging it it goes deeper into the skin and uh, yani helps to plump the skin and hydrate for foundations i used a still louder double wear foundation nime mix kalambili to get her shade because one was too yellow and one was either too pink or too peach so i mixed them to get her color na natumia morphe foundation brush to blend it uh, i'm going to add the shades in the description box below and to make sure her foundation is flawless and uh, not cakey i use the real technique foundation uh, uh, beauty blender to blend everything together to conceal and highlight i use the estee lauder double wear concealers and i mix two shades to get the perfect shade for her skin tone because i didn't want uh, something too bright or something too dark for her skin and um, this helped to bring the scent of the first uh, pop but still look natural As you can notice my queen was talking and bowing down a lot it's because we were live on TikTok on her channel uh, her followers were asking questions about the look about uh, products about everything so I was replying to them that's why you see her time to time looking down and uh, talking I'm blending her contour areas and I can say bronzer to make sure everything is blended and seamlessly flawless and I'm going back and forth with my beauty blender to make sure everything is blended yani flawlessly For cream blush I'm using Litsy Cosmetics Kenya cream blush in the style Hush2 If you're looking for nice cream blush that give results like high end and you can't afford the high end ones get this from her and guess what the price is she sells them at only 700 shillings and you are getting beautifully flawless na mashallah ziko so pigmented as you can see she has them i think in three shades if i'm not wrong check her page out and uh, yani dm her it's time to set her under eye and i'm using one size tra translucent blurring powder it's one of my top best powders by far and i'm using the triangle uh, buffers to set it 
mwanzo naanza ku push in uh, with beauty blender to make sure hakuna any creases alafu ndo natumia the triangle this way you make sure hakuna any crease line under eye yake kwa sababu if you're not going to use the beauty blender to go back to the concealer to make sure ime ime blendika you'll end up setting the crease lines and i'm setting the center part the highlighted part using the same triangle uh, sponge and i'll use a uh, buffing brush from real technique to set the entire face and to set her face and melt everything together i'm using the milani make it last uh, original spray like it claims make it last it does what it claims it's one of my best drugstore makeup fixes for our humidity i feel like it works best for our humidity and does what it claims natumia beauty blender yangu to lift any powders left on top of the skin to make it look uh, flawless and uh, not cakey and to bronze i'm using morphe mega star bronzer to make sure all her bronzed areas are set I'm planning inshallah to drop a YouTube video with Tawhida M showing you how to contour and bronze uh, oval shape uh, face. So I'll go in depth inshallah with her so as uh, I show step by step with uh, how I achieve a snatched face with uh, an oval shape. I only back nose contour if I want a snatched nose. I'm gonna feel like her contours didn't come to my satisfaction that's when i yani i beg but very rarely mimi ku beg face because i believe naona kama yakausha uso ama alafu nahisi kama uso wa keki so i only bro any beg for very little yani time at i think i think one minute one shade and now i'm uh, applying waterline uh, a black pencil na nita smudged and uh, blend her lower lash line and i'm going to use the same shades ambazo nimetumia on her lid i'm starting off with the burnt orange i love i'll go with the darker brown i love i'll add near to the tight line the black shade like make sure you go back and forth using the same shades to achieve a, a nice uh, blend any smoky under eye but still is very patchy I don't know why I usually find myself going back to the same palette like this Morphe Jacqueline Hill Volume 1. Uh, I I believe it's one of my best shades because I get all the warm shades that I want, the cool tones, the black. Yani kala zote ambazo mimi nastaka nitaspata in one palette. Uh, kindly let us know what's your go-to eyeshadow palette. Um, do you have one that you love the most? Because I believe Morphe Jacqueline Hill Volume 1 it's one of my best eyeshadow palettes. I'm trying to do like strokes of lines kwenye ina kona ya eyebrows yake to give that uh, effect of zime songia karibu because she had a gap in between her lashes so I'm trying to bring them together I'll come with an in-depth tutorial with la, uh, eyebrows and eyelashes I know I've promised you and inshallah soon I'll bring uh, his content because uh, I I want to try like uh, creating different uh, content with one particular topic what do you think about that guys i'm using mac highlighter palette to highlight the highest points of her face and if you would love to learn physical classes with us do call us and uh, book your slot because we have like beginners classes to advanced classes to step by step on how to master Come learn from us and master your skills. We bring the best version in you and uh, we try to be very yani friendly so as our students can be very comfortable in class. So if you would love to learn and master your yani your born talent, do call us and book book classes with us. I'm using the same technique from our previous video, creating a very soft uh, brown line. to give the illusion of a lifted face i'm using charlotte tilbury legendary mascara legendary lashes mascara to set her lashes and i'm using the mascara disposable wand to do it to pop the center of her eye ama kwenye lid yake i used very soft pigments that i had a long time ago uh, somehow it's silver and uh, champagne shade 
that I felt brought the whole eye look together and created a, any, a classy effect. My muse requested for a maroon lipstick and uh, I went with the maroon lip liner from Forever 52 and uh, Sephora matte lipstick in number 26, I believe, that I both got them from Nash Home on Instagram. And I'm using my disposable uh, lipstick wand. And now to dilute and melt everything together, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray to set and uh, make sure everything is locked in. This tip is to give the illusion ya kuwa macho na puwa zimeshikana. You use the same bronzer that umetumia kwa contour. You use it connecting from the eyeshadow to the nose contour. As you can see yani how I'm, I'm doing it. It gives the illusion ya kuwa eyebrows zake zimesongia karibu. And it's a very nice trick kwa watu ambao macho yao ya kombali kidogo na eyebrows. It brings them back together. If you have reached this far with me, thank you so much. I truly appreciate. And if you haven't subscribed, kindly do. Keep your notification bell on and be notified each time I upload. I truly appreciate you. Please yani, support me by liking my work, commenting, and uh, sharing my work. It truly means a lot to me. Thank you so much and God bless you. I love how everything is coming together, how the eyes blended with the lipstick. Now we are going to do like uh, minus any yani, parts of the hair because uh, I did not plan to take a behind the scene of hairstyles. But I hope you enjoy. We were, we were just uh, flat ironing to make sure everything is uh, any yani, neat. And as you can see, we just created a simple puff because uh, the veil was going to come up. So I just created a simple puff. Do enjoy and uh, stay tuned. With hairstyles, you need to make sure your client's hair is oil free. That's how you achieve. Uh, they give you the results that you're looking for. Like here, we went with a very simple bun, but her hair was oil free. So it was looking so nice. Um, in a, yani, the, the neatness yani, and it all comes with how you prep the hair we add our crown because I told you the veil yote itakuja itafinika so there was no need for us creating any hairstyle but I wanted to take the BTS with you guys hope you enjoy and here is our final bridal transformation on Sabrina Yusuf do check her out on TikTok and Instagram if you want amazing creams, serums, body scrubs. She has so much to offer. I love how everything came together and blended well. Thank you so much, Fatma Alamudi, for once again sponsoring me with your veil and accessory. We truly appreciate and I pray nothing but the best for you. May Allah bless your work. Thank you, Sabrina, for coming and volunteering. It truly means a lot. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Habibi. You are a whole vibe. Like, I truly enjoyed this day. Can't wait for another bit with you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Stay blessed and see you next week.